So we finally have some tangible news on Predator. Now, you may remember back in July, Marvel announced that they will be publishing new Alien and Predator stories, that there would be a brand new series coming out in 2021. What we haven't heard yet is, you know, basically if they're going to be set within the Marvel Universe or not. There's been some speculation kind of around that, uh, you know, around that topic, but uh, it, it's it's hard to say. A lot of the promo art and the teaser art showed them interacting with Marvel characters, uh, but it's it's unclear if the actual comics will. Now, of the two, I mean, I would argue that that uh, Predator probably has an easier entry into the Marvel Universe than Aliens for, for a few reasons. But before we get into that, what is the new news with Predator? So basically, what's going to happen is that Marvel is reprinting a brand new hardcover omnibus format that really captures a lot of the original series created for Dark Horse. A lot of things from the, uh, the well, I guess it started in the late 80, uh, 89, but really through the 90s, through some of the aughts, uh, we're going to get uh, almost all of the limited series that were produced featuring the Predator. Uh, as you were probably not shocked uh, to, to know, you will not be getting the Predator versus Batman series or Predator versus Archie or Predator versus Superman, or the Justice League of America. We, we won't be getting any of those. You won't be getting uh, Predator uh, fighting the the Dark Horse, Agents of Law, Ghost, Motorhead, and X, or uh, Predator versus Tarzan. You're not getting any of those. But you are getting um, the a lot of the original years, the very first series, Big Game, which is a great series, uh, Bad Blood, Sands of Time, Race War, um, Dark River, a lot of a lot of different Predator series, including uh, a lot of the material from Dark Horse Presents, which goes back even further to 1986. And so a lot of Predator content. If you are a fan of the Predator and this character, then, yeah, you, you, it looks like uh, 2021 is going to be your year because you're, you're not only going to get uh, a new uh, omnibus, which is slated for July of 2021, but you're also going to get on some form a new Predator comic and and some you know emergence of this character inside the Marvel Universe. Now, again, back to that question at the you know, will this character and aliens? Um, well, actually, before we get there, so aliens has been a little quieter, although I would say there's a 99% chance that there will be a similar omnibus for the aliens book that Dark Horse created. Um, aliens are showing up in these variant covers, but, but generally speaking, uh, we haven't seen or heard much, uh, from them. We haven't seen, heard much from either of these characters up till this point, but now it looks like they are getting things ready. And if I was to guess, I would say April, uh, I'm just going to throw that date out there. I think a couple months before the omnibus hits, I think there will be some form of predator limited series or, or ongoing series, or it's Marvel. So those are really kind of the same thing. Um, and we will get that. Now, to the question of will it be placed inside the Marvel Universe? So generally speaking, the smart money would be on no, that this would be confined to its own little reality and and it won't cross over. However, we are living in a world where Conan the Barbarian is currently a member of the Avengers. So, you know, it it it's if if I had to guess, my guess is that Marvel will be very tempted to, you know, they're, they're going to want to have Wolverine versus Predator. They're just going to want to do that. And so I, I would be very shocked if Predator is not set within Marvel continuity. I think there's ways you can do that. I think Predator has always been more of a kind of a stealthy hunter type uh, race. So it, it's not going to be weird why we haven't run across them before in, in the years uh, predating things. I think that their nature and kind of what they're in for is a, a species that is based on the hunt and everything else, I think, fits. I, I think that you can you can have them, you know, integrated with a Marvel Universe and it won't be too, too disruptive to anyone. Um, that said, when we get the first appearance of a Predator joining the Guardians of the Galaxy, everybody can come back on the channel and, and mock. It's way too early in the morning to be throwing those kinds of ideas out. Um, <laughs> at any rate, uh, it, so Aliens, I think it's tougher. I, I think Aliens integrated with the Marvel Universe is a much, much tougher one. Um, and because you got, you, one, you have the brood already. Two, I mean, it's space. You can't just roll them out. But a lot of the Aliens mythology is, is in the movies, is based on kind of, you know, there, there's a very human component to it. There's a space travel component to it. And so to slide that in, you, you have to basically ignore a huge portion of what goes on in the movies, which you can do, 
Uh, or you, you know, you explore this mythology in its own little universe. Probably for storytelling, it would be smarter if they did that. But once again, who knows, you know, are, are we going to get aliens versus predator versus Avengers versus X-Men? I mean, maybe <laughs> are we going to get the predator coming to Krakoa for P of swords? That doesn't make any sense. I, I don't know. At any rate, um, I, I think that the likelihood of Marvel wanting to play with these characters and do crossovers feels pretty high, but maybe at least uh, it, again with predator, I could kind of see it working with aliens. I, I, I would avoid it, but that's just me. Uh, at any rate, it, it, it does provide us at least a little bit more definition. We are now being kind of confirmed that we will get some, some new stories, some new content from predator, uh, and also from aliens in 2021. We're also getting this omnibus. So finally kind of a, basically one year after the announcement, Marvel is starting to roll some of these things out and get them into the market. So uh, the question is for you, you know, are you excited? Are you pumped to see the Predator uh, new new material? Are you excited that Marvel's doing that new material? And what would you do? Would you pop them into the Marvel Universe? Would you have, you know, Silver Surfer Thor versus Predator? Is that is that something you're excited by or, or not? Uh, how would you handle the entry into this franchise? Would you have the Predator go hunt down where Angela went off to and, and uh, you know, figure out if that that acquisition was worth the money, I, I <laughs> what would you do with Predator? What would you do with Aliens? Are you excited by this news? Would you be picking up that omnibus? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications. Uh, are by the way, I should ask. I should add this too. You know, Disney is now sitting on a lot of properties uh, through their acquisition of of the Fox uh, properties. W are there other ones in there that you would really like to see? Uh, in, you know, comics of or integrate into the Marvel universe of? Are there, are there other things that you've been dying to see happen? Uh, let me know about that too. But otherwise, again, hope you're excited by this news. Thanks for listening.